Okay, in this video, we're going to make a enemy to our maze game. And so the first thing I need to do, of course, is to get an enemy. There's three different types of enemies. Um, I'm just going to make one of the three. Um, and it's going to be enemy up, down. So I'll call it sprite enemy up, down. I'll load the sprite from my resources. And if you look at the sprite, I think a um, spider would be a good one because spiders sort of go up and down. Uh, and so I'll use monster two as the enemy that goes up and down. Um, I'm going to make it transparent. And I'm also going to undo precision collision checking for now. Okay, let's turn, uh, create the object for the enemy up down. So object enemy up down, I'll call it object enemy up down, and we'll use a sp spider. In the event, I'm going to make the creation event. So when the spider is created, it's going to move either up or down. And I want to put a speed, uh, maybe the same speed as the player, which is four. I'm going to be careful here with my speed though. I want the speed to be a number that goes into 32 because again, it's a grid system and I want it to go always into a grid. One easy way to uh, make sure it always goes into a grid is to make a fraction like 32 divided by eight that I know is going to go into 32. So every eighth step, it's going to be perfectly into the grid that's a 32 by 32 grid. So sometimes we might use that. In fact, I might even make it faster than my player and make him go at a speed of 32 divided by five. So that sounds like an odd number, but what that really means is every fifth step, it's going to go into uh, the grid it, um, or maybe even 32 over seven. Uh, I know it'll evenly, every seventh move, uh, 32 divided by seven, it'll go perfectly be a 32, even though I have no idea what that number is. Okay, the next event is collision with a wall. And if it collides with a wall, I'm gonna tell it to reverse the vertical direction. Pretty straightforward. Lastly, I need to restart the room or lose a life if the player runs into the spider. So I'm gonna put in the player, if I collide with the spider, and for now I'll just say uh, restart the room. But later on, I'm gonna make it, I'll put lives and I would make it lose a life. Okay, in my room, let's add a spider. I'll put a spider just right here for now to see that it works. It's got a wall it's gonna bump into, so it's gonna go up and down right here. I could put another spider over here, I guess, um, and that would be fine. So let's play it, test it, and make sure everything's working just great. So it just takes a second there, and it looks like the spiders are working just fine. They're not getting stuck because, as I said, every seventh move, uh, they're going to go and um, uh, be in the grid. And you'll see that they run slightly faster than me. And that's not a bad thing for your enemy to be slightly faster than you um, so that uh, it creates a bit of a challenge. Too fast and it's too much of a challenge. 